HTTPS. That's what you want to remember when you're shopping, banking, or logging into personal accounts online. It's the very thing that ensures your personal information is safe and secure. Hey everyone, it's Audrey with socialmediaforbeginners.com. And I've been online since 1999. So I have purchased quite a bit of merchandise online. I have created too many accounts to remember, and I've actually done some banking online. But I've never done any of that without making sure that there is an HTTPS before the website. If it only has HTTP, I'm not putting any of my personal information, especially my mailing address or my credit card information on that website. Let me explain. All websites online start with HTTP colon slash slash www. You may not always see the HTTP, but it is always there. HTTP in computer terms means hypertext transfer protocol, which basically just means that it provides a way to publish and retrieve web pages so that you can view it on your computer. But websites that have the S at the end of HTTP, that S actually means secure socket layer, which adds an added extra protection on that website. So basically what happens is when you go to a website and you either put in your username or password or all of your personal information, your credit card, your mailing address, it's taking it from your computer and sending it to the server of that website. But unfortunately what happens is there's hackers in between that like to get you know, your information. And so with the secure socket layer, what it does is it encrypts your information. So as it's floating through, you know, the, the World Wide Web and the internet going to that server, then it encrypts it and it makes it very, very hard for the hacker to get your information. For example, if we head over to amazon.com, we see that amazon.com has HTTP S. And so we know that this is there is a secure socket layer over the entire website. And whenever we click on something or we go to sign in, that our information is going to be encrypted. But sometimes, though, you'll go to a website that maybe you've signed up for an account and it's not necessarily clear that they have a secure socket layer on their website. For instance, I am a part of Wealthy Affiliate, which is an amazing community that teaches you how to build like niche websites and make money online and everything. But when you come to their website, it just says www. Now keep in mind though, that before each Eight, you know, www, there really is an HTTP that is on every single website because you need that in order for it to show up on your computer, okay? It doesn't necessarily show in this bar, but it's there. However, when I click log in, okay, what it's doing is now it's taking me to HTTPS and I have it to where it logs me right in and it remembers my password and everything. But if I would have clicked on log in and it would have taken me to HTTP colon backslash backslash, um, I would not have felt secure with putting in my username and my password. So before you ever put in a username or password, look for the HTTPS. Now don't go to the website, like right here, if you went back and you didn't see HTTPS, that doesn't mean that they don't have that secure socket layer on there. 
it's just not on the entire website it's only on the portions that are important and that is your account information which is like your email address your first your last name and your password I just wanted to point that out so that you don't go to a website and see that it only has HTTP and kind of jump off of it just remember that before you put any of your personal information you're looking for that HTTPS okay I hope that helped you and hopefully I've burned it into your mind HTTPS if you have any questions comments or concern leave them in the comment section below this video if this video helped you in any way why not like it comment and share it be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't ever miss these free tutorials and tips on how to stay safe online oh and don't forget to check out our Napoleon's idiot series where I teach dad all about the social media networks until next time, y'all be blessed.